Radio YouTube. You already know what it is, man. It's your favorite damn DJ in the land, DJ Elixir. And I'm back with another video. All right, man. So as y'all can see from the title of this video, you already know what's going down, man. I really get this question a lot, especially since I uploaded that Core DJ's Retreat video. If you haven't seen that, that's the last video I uploaded. Make sure you go ahead and run to it. If your post notifications is on, then you should have already seen it. And if you didn't, then what the fuck are you doing? But anyway, man, um, I went to the Core DJ's Retreat in Atlanta this past year. I have been a Core DJ. Uh, I got initiated during the summer, so I haven't been a core DJ for even like six months yet. Uh, probably like more like three or four. So when I uploaded this video, you know, I get DMs from people uh, who are following me on Instagram. Make sure y'all click in the link below. Make sure you follow me on IG because we got some special giveaways coming up. But that's between you and me. I, I've been getting DMs like, yo, what is, what are the core DJs? Like, how can I get involved? Like, what does it entail? And just to answer all of these questions at once, man, I really want to make this video. DJ crews have been around for as long as you can even remember having two turntables in a mixer. DJ crews are a staple in the industry, especially, especially, especially when it comes to hip hop. Most of your favorite artists now weren't, wouldn't be able to be on if it wasn't for a DJ crew. Now, one thing I will say is with the advancement of the internet, DJ crews aren't as needed. They're not as popular because you have your SoundClouds and your YouTubes now. But what people fail to realize is if you really want that record broke, people still go to the club, man. And that's what DJ crews are for, to break records. Back in the day, if you would have a band of DJs that maybe work for a certain radio station that only have this one single. And they pass it to their DJ and buddies and it's like, oh man, I need that song. DJ and crews were, were meant to break records, man. Meant to, to work with artists and to get their sound out. That's like the, ma the major basis behind it. Now, like even with the core, we're still breaking records, you feel me? We network with a lot of major artists in the industry. It's, it's about networking, it's about breaking artists, and it's about, you know, having fun, man. I love being a part of the core because it's like we all have a, a really, really cool bond with each other. A DJ crew is basically a band of DJs that get together to break artists. That's that's the, the major basis of a DJ crew nowadays. All right, so now that you know what a DJ crew is, you're probably like, yo, I wanna become a part of one. How do I become a part of one? Put me on, Lexa, put me on. And uh, you gotta work, man. All I can do is speak for the, the crew that I'm a part of with the core DJs. And the core DJs, you have to have a, a pretty decent resume, man. You gotta have, you gotta be to the streets. You feel me? You gotta be working, man. If you're not in the club, if you're not on radio, if you're not pushing out mixtapes, doing mix shows, whatever, whatever, they, 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 Tony ain't even gonna look at you. We even have programming directors, man. We have our own radio show on Shade 45. So if you're not working, you, you gotta be, you gotta be working to be a part of the core. But you also have, like I said, it's hundreds of DJ and crews, man. Um, coast to coast. If you're into mixtapes, you might want to do coast to be a, be a part of coast to coast. If you're in the Midwest, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the nerd DJs basically run a lot of the Midwest. Coalition DJs are the king of the strip club game. Not even gonna lie, especially when it's coming out of the South. So if you're a strip club DJ, you might want to look into that. One thing that all of these crews have in common. You gotta be working, man. You can't be in your bedroom doing mixes, you know, for an hour and, and not, and people can't see who you are. You don't wanna be just a part of a crew just to say you're a part of a crew. It's damn near like a job interview. Like, okay, well, what can you do for my company? You feel me? Like, if, you, if you're just you're laying around and you're lazy and you're not working and you're just chilling and you're not pooping up, like, what are you doing for me, man? What have you done for me lately? So you gotta make sure you're working and that's how you catch the eye of those around you. When other DJs see you working, that's how I got in the court. They saw me working. They are like, damn, she would be a, a great addition to the team, man, because she she's doing her damn thing. They know I work. So you gotta work, man, if you wanna be a part of a DJ crew, you feel me? All right, so now that we know what a DJ crew is, how to potentially get in one. The next thing is the pros and the cons of the DJ crew game. Some of the pros of being in a DJ crew, man, the number one pro for sure, for sure, is networking. 
your net worth is equivalent to your net work. Like I said, I can only speak from my experiences, but ever since I got into the core, I have linked up with programming directors in different cities that I could potentially, you know, get get on, on radio stations with. I've linked up with other DJs in other cities that want to bring me to do, you know, special, like special guest DJ spots. If you guys have watched my last video, I just recently met the director of operations for BPM Supreme, which is a really, really big deal. That's that's super important, man. That, that just being a part of the core got me all those opportunities. I'll be DJing, you know, in Atlanta and in Los Angeles in 2019 because of networking with the right people. Being a part of a DJ crew can do nothing but open up more networking opportunities for you, especially when it comes to artists. Pro number two, easier access to new music. Of course, we have pools. Of course, we have DJ pools. If you haven't seen my video for that, check that out. Link will be in the description, which gives you access to new music. But something for me, if you guys know me, y'all know I'm a club hip hop head DJ. It's difficult to get artist sounds who are in the underground because record pools don't have that. DJ record pools, they don't, they don't, they're, they're not gonna have a lot of the Detroit music that I need. So linking up, being a part of a DJ crew, I can hit up one of my core fam and be like, hey, do y'all got that new song, baby? I need a clean, dirty intro, whatever. They have the service packs for that. Grizzly, bam, I can get it. Even from other cities, Yellow Beezy, when that That's On Me came out, Nobody really out here in Detroit even heard of that song. I was able to link up with another DJ down there and say, hey, do you have the service pack for this? Send it to me. And now the song is all over the radio. Well, now in Detroit in the Midwest for sure. Linking with other DJs can definitely give you access to music before it even gets hot. You could be the DJ to break that record in your city. Back in the day, that was the, the hot shit. Like, yo, I'm the only DJ with this record. It goes up in the club and I'm the only person that has it. You are the man. So. That's definitely a major pro, for sure. Pro number three, uh, I was trying to figure out a different way to say this, but I'm just gonna spit it out. It's a great resume builder. Um, if you're a DJ, you should have an EPK, which is a, um, an electronic press kit. If you don't know what that is, Google is your best friend. You put that you're a part of a DJ crew on a on your EPK or whatever, it makes it look good. So with, with me, when I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm a part of such and such, I do this, I do that, oh, and I'm a part of the biggest DJ crew in the world. Bam, people be like, oh, damn, okay, yeah. She got experience, she knows what she's talking about, no matter who it is. So I'm gonna tie um, this fourth and fifth uh, pro together. And one of the, the other, another major pro probably behind networking is the promotion you get and the building of your brand. Being able to say you're a part of a DJ crew, like I said, that that plays into you know the, the promotion, the networking, which builds who you are. More people know who I am now because of the help of a DJ crew that might not have known me before. So, you know, I got people who DM me every day. Oh, DJ Lexer, what's good? Core family, da 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 Like, that's, that's how that works now. So I can link with them. They can link with me. I know them. They know me. If I'm in their city, if they're in my city, we kicking it. And, and I can go out there. It's not even about really getting gigs or anything. If I, like I said, I'm going out to, to, to Vegas and I'll be kicking it with the core family in Vegas. You feel me? And just just hanging out and building building my brand, passing out flyers with these people because they can get me into places that I wouldn't normally be able to get my into myself. So with that being said, the the promote the promoting obviously y'all know I always tell y'all promote 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 the hell out of yourselves. That's how you get 100 gigs for 2019. I'll leave a video for that in the description as well. But you gotta promote yourself and you, it'll help you build your brand, man. That's important. All right, y'all, so with that being said, um, there's only a couple cons to being a part of a DJ crew. And I really don't want to call them cons. It was just negative experiences that I have had with certain DJ crews that I used to be a part of. The very first one, when I was, and this is some time ago, man, this is before I was even DJ Lixer. This is back when I was DJ Lady Tay. Boy, if you don't get- uh, They took advantage of my, I guess, celebrity. I wouldn't really call it celebrity, especially back then, because nobody knew me back then, for real. But it was like, oh, okay, well, certain people know you. You can get these people into our events. We're going to do that, and we're still not going to pay you. And not saying that's going to happen with a DJ crew. That was just my experience with those one, that one, that one crew. And like I said, that was like six, six years ago. And it was kind of like, oh, well, because you're a part of the crew, we're not gonna pay you. I've heard of that in certain DJ crews before, where it's like, oh, well, because you're a so-and-so DJ, we need you to do this event, 
We need you to do this event for free. I need you to bring out all your, your, your styles and stuff for free. And as much as I am for helping my fellow man, I am also a businesswoman, and I feel like that's taking advantage of someone. Like, bro, if I'm bringing out all this equipment and stuff like that, throw me a couple dollars. Like, I, I done heard of people doing whole concerts and not getting a dime. Knowing that, that, knowing that their, their crews are getting, you know, thousands upon thousands of dollars, which I feel like is complete bull. But, like I said, not my personal experience. That's just something I heard. And that's just a negative experience. Like I said, I'm not gonna call it a con because I don't hear about that often. Those might be some of the negative experiences that you might have being a part of a DJ crew. Like I said, man, my 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 cons came from personal experience. So I'm not gonna sit here and say there are cons to being a part of a DJ crew because there's really not. It's just negative experiences that you could have with what you're going through, but not necessarily something that each each crew is gonna put you through. You feel me? All right, y'all. Well. There you have it, man. That that was basically my interpretation. That was my information to give you guys on what's, what is a DJ crew. A lot of y'all have been asking me, like, damn, what are the core DJs? How do I get a part of it? You watch this whole video, now you know, man. I definitely appreciate y'all watching this video, man. Make sure that follow me on Instagram for more questions. I definitely inbox you back. It might not be immediate, but I'll definitely see if I can get to you. You feel me? We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, guys. I have been sitting at 8,000 for like a while. So share this video, you feel me? Like the video, you know, make sure you leave me a comment. Please do leave me a comment, like legit. If you're a part of any type of DJ and crew, uh, in the comment section, leave me your experiences. Like what do you like about being a part of a DJ crew? What you don't like about being a part of a DJ crew? How it helps you with your career or how it hurts your career? Y'all know how it is, man. We working with each other on this channel, you feel me? So with that being said, man, like I said, make sure you share the video, leave me a big thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe. You know, I'm going to leave it somewhere in this area. You feel me? And don't forget to hit that bu -bu 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 one time for the one time. Every time your girl DJ looks or upload a video, you look at it. And you're like, damn, listen, let me get to that one time. Because I got to get to it, baby. No, nah, but man, I appreciate y'all watching this video. More to come, man. 2019, we taking over. Y'all going to make sure I upload 300 videos in 2019. Is it possible? Maybe not 300. I'll holla at y'all on the next one, man. <laughs>